I think you'll be able to see my notification pop up. Can you let me know if it's actually working out? Uh, I think more of a sunset. Uh, I was on time crunch. Oh, uh, yeah. I invited William. I tagged him. Oh, you did. But that don't mean shit. No, really. that don't mean shit. It really doesn't. Oh damn! I should make the title uh, eighteen and over. You know, because of your cursing. <laughs> I don't fucking curse. <laughs> oh damn! Hold on, let me see something. I'm gonna go and. Uh, So, we're on the stream right now. Welcome. Is anybody there? Um, not anytime soon. But I would probably get somebody here, maybe one or two. I'll probably get Because the there's nobody in here. What's up? Uh, this is Line of All Trades. I have my guest here, Maddie, aka GTII, on the Twitter spaces, trying to get some people here, have a conversation. But at the same time, I wanted to go over a comparison here that uh, we was talking about. And it's uh, this chart on uh, MMTLP and how how it compared to Finger. And it was just giving a scenario because somebody theoretically had sold off Finger. <laughs> When it was probably at what, like four bucks? Let me see. Let's go to. All right, when, when, did, when did the whole drop start? It started at. Hold on, Maddie. Like, what? When did you think that person started chasing when he heard about MMTLP? Which person? You know, I had a girlfriend, really, I did. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. It was probably even, yeah. like, it was probably, like, in the midst of it, like, going crazy, which was probably, like, the middle of November. And then when it hit uh, 1250 uh, and started dropping like a rock on the 22nd of uh, November, he saw it continue to go down he's probably like oh dear i think i might have i might have chased this oh i think it's too late and then um so the 22nd right so he said he let go of his finger position so at 11 uh on the 22nd this thing was trading at this thing was trading at like five dollars pretty much so i feel like in the combination of that that was like a big loss but that's i mean that's something like if for example if you've been you know going over finger for such a long time on the stream including gtii and crtd you figured, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you stay within the, the topic of those three stocks. And and on top of that, you know, just, you know, trying to figure out what on earth is going on with those three, including Finger. And, you know, just staying true, like I always say, staying true to your conviction with those plays with Finger and you know, not expecting you to actually like all of a sudden let go of your position and then start chasing into another play that you just all of a sudden now get trapped. And that's like one of the biggest mistakes that people make, you know, and, and I've been through it too as well. I've been through it. And like, This this is why people feel the the way that they feel, you know. At the end of the day, it's like they regret it. Start you know getting depressed, 
they start, you know, like wondering what else they can do about it. And this is the psychological warfare that the the market in general brings to the retail investors. To these to these guys out there on Wall Street or whoever you wanna name, I don't really care. Like they they just always have that method of in trying to bring people down and just uh you know, just, just manipulating the whole thing, you know? And this is why I feel like in terms of building a community such as this and knowing that the whole purpose of why we're in this and in these other plays is for the same reasons. And I feel like it shouldn't be. What was that? We're in, it for the same, we're in it for the same reasons. Chicks and money. Chicks and money. Cooks and hookers. Whatever. I mean, not that I'm down with that stuff. All right. Because I have my own reasons and why I'm in this play. And I have things to take care of. I have to make ends meet. And I want my my parents, for example, to live comfortable until their end days. And I want to be comfortable as well, knowing the fact that I'm financially situated. I'm financially free with with no debt and no and, other problems and they, and in the want, future. That's it. And you, want, and you want the end of your penis to, to interact with a vagina. Yeah, at least like 100, 200, I don't know. Depends. But first, I have to focus on myself, and I have to focus on my confidence and my looks and all that stuff, and you know, get jacked. So then they're gonna and be like, "Oh, daddy, giant. lying! Oh my god, can I feel those abs and all of that good stuff?" Then yeah, you know, that's that's the that's the cherry on top of the the cake. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the point. You know what I'm saying? The point is like, with all of this going on in Twitter Spaces and you know, the divisions left and right, you know, disagreements, arguments, fighting with each other. It's like nonsense, man. It's it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? And like take, you know, for instance, AMC, for example, and the whole like Reddit community and the whole thing about whoever started the whole ape movement. Like, are we really like animals? Like, do we have to? You know, in in Sue in acting with animalistic behaviors because of what happened. No, I I don't I don't. I need to pursue acting and animal behaviors. And you could you could probably do that. You could probably you know just you know poo, you know pick it up and throw it to to these these people at Wall Street. Yeah, I mean that's that's one thing. But uh, I'm I, sure that. I, yeah, what's up? So like I could play. I could fling poo like a monkey. If that's what you think. We, we scared somebody else off. If that's what you desire, man, then by all means, you do what you want as long as you know that you're going to win at the end of the day. And that's the, that's the whole point of all of this is for us retail in general to win, to be able to, you know, see the losers out and see them now struggle the way that we struggled all this time you know being in this market and also being in these places that <laughs> quite frankly like we've gone through the worst times and they think that they're okay and you know they're living it up and you know they have all this money and shit you know whatever like but when shit hits the fan and things start to turn around and they're going to be like, holy shit, what the fuck did I do? And they're all going to end up in our position and they're going to suffer as much as we did. And they're going to see the whole transition. And as we know, that's, that transition is going to be 
the day that we took over the markets. And that's my point. That's my opinion. And that's all I got to say about that. You know what I'm saying? So, wait, who did? What you mean? Now you left. You left, bro. I was looking at the screen the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. But, I mean, I, I could give you, the, I'm going to give you the co-host right now. Chill out on my chat. Chillax. I got you, bro. But anyways, that's just my venting, my rant, or whatever you want to call it. And if this message goes out and you listen to, you know, what, what I, whatever I said, I hope it makes some type of sense. Because at the end of the day, man, what I be seeing in those spaces, man, it's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, it should be all about, it should be all about unity. Unity and helping each other, helping one another to, to get out of that bubble, to get out of that dark place and to, you know, help stay grounded in these times of market turmoil and whatever it is that they're doing to take advantage of these stocks. And I know for a fact that with stocks like GTII and Finger and CRTD and CLMV and Cosmos and what else you got out there? You know, you got your original memes like BMC, GME, BBBY. But the list goes on and it's such a huge list and a huge... I think I'm back. Welcome back. And it's just huge man like unbelievable how what, many how what, many stocks they've how many stocks they've uh, took advantage uh, I think of I came, so i think i came back at a weird time why just because you heard huge yeah i know yeah you started talking about huge things well, that time. i mean i mean not as huge as as what gtii could be um as I'm looking at the daily chart for GTII. And uh, to be honest, um, there was something that I saw, and it's something that's uh, recurring, and it usually happens in a cycle, in a certain pattern. I don't know if you want to call it a repeat of a cycle. Uh, I, a repeat I of think a we're I think we're beyond patterns. Hmm. But I think we're completely beyond patterns. We're all about now. Right. But now. I think the patterns are complete bullshit right now. Hmm. Now. I mean, I understand the supportive resistance part. Right and the and the channels and the uptrends when people and all that will sell, stuff. right? But but we're really looking at the situations and where's our fucking catalysts? Yeah, that's that's where the and, and I'm the only one fucking watching your your YouTube, and I'm the only fucking one in your spaces. What the fuck? Exactly. That's that's what I'm talking about. A what the fuck moment because it it's it it this is pretty much it. This is pretty much what I'm That's talking bullshit. about, man. It's bullshit. And you know what? I'm gonna say this right now. But I think these these people out here are the real distractions. And they have lured people away from the fact that GTII has way more serious things going on than, <clears throat> you know? And it's an opportunity that 
can't be missed. But people are still stuck in a situation where as that specific stock isn't even moving. And it hasn't moved for almost, what, two months? More than two months? Like, holy shit. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to continue to speculate other things and, and, and figure out what on earth is going on when you see that there is another stock that is on the cusp of going crazy and, and we're all awaiting for that specific catalyst to send shit. Hey, Robert. You know what I'm hey, what's up, bro? Robert? How's everything? How's your Sunday going? If you want to request a mic, uh, kiss my ass. Anyways, um, and, and it's exactly I, I what I'm talking about. Hi, Robert. And, uh, I, ch I changed the title. Yeah, well, you know, it seems like he wasn't about it. We're not, we're not uh, as important as others. So, yeah. I, again, I can I can care less. But what I what I can't care less is the fact that, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it, and this is for the record because this is gonna be on stream. But yeah, motherfuckers, definitely distracted GTII. He distracted my man's William, uh, GTII. Oh, so finger, and you had him chase your shit, and now all trapped, wondering what the fuck is going on and when is this gonna resume. <laughs> With no idea, no speculation that's gonna help it. Right. And you see how GTI is. Ah, check this shit out. Go ahead. Fucking William and Jennifer. William and Jennifer are in the other room. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, MMTLP. Wow, that was awesome. And William's back there. Holy as, shit. As the speaker again. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. You see... And that that and, that's exactly my and, point. And Addy. MK Trader is over there. Really? MK Trader. He he don't want to be on our side. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, like if, it, if, 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 it, if it's because of William, that I kind of understand. But then again, at the same time, man, he is he is getting distracted out of his own uh, agenda. <laughs> And his priority, which shouldn't even be that. Uh, this is just bullshit. Because at, at the end of the day, that's that's how we all started. We all started. Yeah. We all joined because of what was going on with GTII. And he was yep. pretty much the captain that was taking us. And... and and he and the problem is, if if you mention any other stock, it gets pulled by right back to MMTLP. Exactly, it's, it, all it's being always let's into work a on vortex. MMTLP. So, so part of me, part of me wants to just be like, you know what, fuck MMTLP, GTII can run, and you guys can go fuck yourselves. Bingo. How much longer are they gonna wait for for something wow. to happen for SEC to make the call for DTCC or whoever? Wow, well, they you know I'm saying they need to wait for they need to wait for however it is, and they can wait as long as they as long as they can. I like, get what's up, kids. But unfortunately, they, there's they have to wait. The only options. Are really legal route for you know public humiliation, and MMTLP just wants to sit there with the sixty four thousand shareholders and force the issue. 
That's yeah. great. And, and let me add. That's great. But wouldn't you? But wouldn't you be better off with a million shareholders? I can't go fuck yourself. And, and let me add that. And let me add the fact that it could have been way more. But remember right. what it said on the on the filing that those who got into it late are not eligible for those expert shares so they are excluded out of all of that and that's the reason well in my opinion in my guess that that it's now only capped to those 64,000 shareholders well no because because it's anybody that it could have been the last person that purchased the stock if they put in the request with AST and they got their shares over to AST then they have next bridge holdings. Uh, and they could have been the last one that put the shares. Right. So you don't even know. Mm. And that's the thing because they they pretty much not spread that knowledge until like last second when they're already yep. on track. Yep. So. <sighs> It is what it is at this point, but the, the matter of the fact is the, the the agenda that they're pushing or whatever narrative, whatever you want to call it, it's actually sucking everybody else in from other um, communities or whatever. I don't know, man. It's just, it's distracting the point that we're we're at a in a play that it's actually doing something. We have oh, Walker's, probably, Walker's probably gonna leave. I got rid of Walker from your from your stream. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Walker winning his oh no, maybe not. BBI BB moons before GTI. <laughs> on on what on what do you think is going to run, though? Because right now, BBBY. Let's see. Jeez. It, and it's crazy because it had several attempts. It had several attempts. It could have another sev It could have another attempt. At it, hit the low. Well, well, from what I'm seeing, it's just it's just me predicting this. But if this flattens out, goes around 125, 150, and then decides, hey, I'm gonna go on a reversal and tr try to run it again. Because for some reason, and even though you know, with all the shit that's going on behind. BBBY and their bankruptcy bullshit. I don't even know what the hell is going on behind doors. But the matter of fact that this is not dead and there's still a huge influence of retail behind this. If not, probably even more than before. Which is my opinion. Not financial advice, by the way. I'm not telling you to buy or sell, do any of that shit. But matter of fact, the matter of fact is this thing this thing is still holding up uh so long term long term looks like a double bottom to me and it'll probably try to break to again that's a possibility but then again it's gonna all be short term until we see those reverberations in the market and things go crazy and not only BBBY but other meme stocks as well and you'll see a chain reaction that's what we were talking about before I know this market hasn't been uh, performing the way it should because of the fact that, in reality, the market should be down in the shitter, including SPY. But... 
Don't throw on Bassett. What was, uh, what was August at? Let's see. Yeah, look at it right here. Hey, Bass, he's trying to run a space call on YouTube at the same time. I don't know what the hell he's doing. What you mean? Would you like to come up and talk? What's up, Bassett? I'm Give here. your opinions, ask some questions. Questions. Any questions that have to do with GTI and like your thoughts on what's going on in spaces in general, man, we're here to talk. Perhaps it doesn't seem to be interested. I wonder, I wonder if there's any heavy influence though with GME and B -B -B Wait, pass it is on. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's requesting. Yep. He's the speaker. Yep. Hey Bassett, how are you? Come on, Bassett. Happy Sunday. Huh? Wait. I, I think we lost him because he says connecting. Yeah, I think yeah, I think so. It's having issues. Yeah, he lost him. He he meant to hit the exit, not the request. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. What a shit show. What a shit show indeed. And and they're gonna wonder. They're gonna wonder why they decided to. Waste your time, distract themselves. Maybe Walker wants to come on to Spaces. Walker? Exactly. Yo, Walker, check it out. Follow us. Um, we're on the Twitter Spaces. If you want to join in, talk with us, man. Give us your thoughts. We're here. Follow me on my handle at Line of All Trades. Um, Maddie is um, GTII on the space. His handle is GFYM187. So follow us. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a link to the, the spaces actually right here uh, on, on the stream. So let me just do that. Let me just give you the link right now. Let you know. Yeah, because uh, we we could use uh, we could use some speakers in here, man. There it is. There you go. Oh, I have to reconnect the space. Okay, now. So I'm gonna have to do it through the chat. Okay. Copy the link. Right here. I'm turning, man. All the fucking creators are in the other space. Yep. Tell you, man. They're all, they're luring it all, luring them all in. Go look, go look at who's in there. So I'm gonna All the fucking traitors. I'm going to send a message right now to the spaces. There you go. Click on to the one. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go check to see who's in there. MC Trader wants nothing to do with us. Jennifer wants nothing to do with us. I mean, let's not really go into you know conclusions that, that that's that that's the reason why. Sway, sway, does, sway doesn't want anything to do with us. Anything to do with us? Yeah.
Yeah. Like some bullshit. Yep. It definitely is. Yeah, I just I just saw I just saw the, the space. And, and William's on up there. Oh, Jennifer left, but William's up there. Right. Let me uh But yet we can't fucking reach William. Yeah, apparently. Apparently we can't. That, that's fucking ridiculous. But let's see. You know, BB, even uh, not BB. Um, GameStop looking to fall a little bit more lower, down back to nineteen, possibly eighteen fifty. Well, this actually, this sure, actually I'm looks like uh, This actually looks like a. Uh, Zemo, how are you? The head and shoulders here. Yeah. Yeah. F feel free to join in on the space. Feel free to speak your mind. Uh. What you think about what's well, going on? We're waiting on for all the. Well, waiting for all the traders in the other room to come. Yeah, because I, 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 I just really feel the need to like express my frustration right now, and the fact that we we've, we've been in this way longer. We've been in this game for as long as I can remember, and for us to see that now people are getting straight away and distracted by something else and it's just taking out the focus well like i said to me it's a matter of uh, i'm tired of blowing support behind mmtlp and then they drag all the people from gtii over Asking for, you know, hey, William, come talk to us. Hey, Ham, come talk to us. Hey, Abbott, come talk to us. And God forbid they should mention GTII. It's like, no, no, no we're talking about MMT MMTLP now. Like, well, then don't call our people in. Yeah, because these are, like I said, people that originally were fighting for just one particular stock for two years two plus years and always carry the torch to fight for a better market and to fight against these individuals that were taking advantage of GTII and trying to short the living hell all right, out of it. All right, all right. Shut up, Ryan. Shut up, Ryan. All right, I'll shut up. Go ahead. But yeah, what's up, bro? Go ahead, doctor. No, 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 I was just calling. I saw you guys uh, post up here on uh, Twitter. I was scanning through, so I was seeing what's going on. And, so, and hello. What, what's your thoughts on Ryan? I don't know if I lost you. You guys uh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can, can you hear can me? Hear you, yeah, now I can hear you clearly. You said, what's my thoughts on what? I, I was saying, what's your thoughts on the bitch mode we were just in about? MMTLP dragging all of our, you know, people, so to speak, over there, our names, meaning, you know, William, Avid, Ham, etc. cetera. And then, God forbid, they bring up GTII or CRTD or FNGR or anything else. It's like, no, 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 MMTLP, MMTLP, MMTLP. Well... I mean, I, I'll be honest, like, and I, I think I've said this before, 
I think there's, I mean, the MMTLP things, I mean, it's a serious issue. I don't disagree. Plays being brought into this mix that they're, retail is strong, but the, the, everybody's just running in different directions. It's going to lose strength. They need to, they need to stick to one, burn one, make it happen, and then retail goes together. Okay, and so, to another. so which, which one should it be? Well, as of right now, and I don't mean to be biased, but I'm in a couple plays, but my biggest position is GTI because we have the most information and we've got stuff from the uh, Right, but so the, que the question is, which play should be the, the one play? So that's the argument, you know, over and over, which is why I always said, and I got shit on for it, of we need to focus as retail and go after the the FINRA and the Senate and the SEC and and keep making all this noise and say, listen, there's a problem in the market. These all these short sellers, blah 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 blah. And then the next paragraph is, let me give you an example. G G I I da 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 G L P da 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 da. Instead of, I want to talk M M T L P. That's all I want to talk about. Everybody should talk about MMTLP or GTII. GTII. About GTI. Or everyone should just put this icon on their where profile where picture. He tells. What was that? Or or everyone Everybody's should. Everybody's got you know their. You there? No, go ahead. No, I'm go here. ahead. I was just, I was just yeah. adding to it that you know that oh maybe I mean, like, maybe we should all add lying, you know picture. Lying, you're like, you're like breaking up, lying. All right, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Go ahead, you doctor. Got, I just think you guys, just the thing we got to be very, very careful with, and I and, and I hear everybody saying it to me. I think it's a big. I don't know. I think it's just a big scam. Is you know this is not financial information, blah, 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 you know, just take what I say as entertainment, yada, yada. Everybody knows what we're getting at. Yeah. But so we have to be careful when we tell everybody it's only got to be this. It's, it's, I just think that these people really got to get on. The problem is until one of these things pops, which I can't, I hear a lot of people talking about being frustrated, but they are because the close bubble's about to burst, boom. It's like, oh, we got four other plays. This one's hot next week. This one's a 5X. And then everybody goes running because they thought, I, I'm the first to hear it. Let me get in on the ground floor because right. I want to be there. And then they're in there for months, weeks, year, and nothing. Understand? They're diluting themselves. They're diluting the force that. of retail. And I get that. But, but I see, all right. I understand people want to make money in the meantime. I believe in diversification of your portfolio. Um, the strong, uh, both GTI. Uh, it's it, it's not even a question to me. Um, the on GTI retail is going to be able to do it is is irrelevant. Because the big players have already invested so much money into it that it, it's not going to matter if they buy another 100,000 shares. It doesn't matter if they're the shorts hold and then they are the buyers. Correct. And in CLP, it doesn't matter until some. Somebody turns around and says, this is the price you're getting, or this is how it's going to trade, or whatever the case may be. So the only way to get the powers that be to do anything is to fight together against the powers that be. Yes. And like we discussed the other day, the only way you're really going to get their attention, you got to take their money. And you're not going to take a couple bucks. you got to really hit them hard. Right, but but again, so then how do you how do you do you turn around and say, okay, we're all going to get behind the MMTLP and yell about MMTLP? Do we all get behind GTII and yell about GTII? Do we all get behind Finger and yell about Finger? So if you're going to sit there and argue about what stock do we get behind, it's not going to get anybody anywhere. The best way to do it is for everybody to just go against 
your system mm -hmm. and try to make some movement. And stop bringing it back to, no, 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 you gotta fight behind me because mine is the best one. Yeah, it's, a, it's a tough one. And like I said, it's the it's gonna it's almost gonna take a big name or somebody that everybody trusts and everybody listens to but to actually point out a direction but we got it's got to be very careful that it's not considered manipulation well everybody's everybody's gonna argue that their position is the way to go i, I absolutely agree with and, you but and i understand that said, but even the big voices don't, don't in this group with gti in the last two years have brought in in the last three months a price I brought in at least a dozen other stocks for everybody to go after. I, I agree with that. I understand that, and I agree it's gone, you know, out of control. The problem is that everybody's going to him and going to Avid and going to William and saying, what do you think about this? Hey, Lion, can you mute if you're not speaking? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not speaking. I'm muted. Right, so can you mute if you're not speaking? Thank you. I'm not muted. I mean, I am muted. You are muted because I could hear you speaking. Now you're muted. Oops. That's much better. Yeah, I was just picking but, up a little background noise. But, but then what I'm saying is, so like, I'd like William in here to talk about GTII. That was the stock that was brought up. Well, why is MMTLP dragging William over there? Or we want to talk to Ham. Well, Ham's getting on an MMTLP chat telling them what he hears about MMTLP. He doesn't own MMTLP. So why are you stealing those people away and then we still can't get them? No, the, I mean, I don't want to... I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess I have an opinion on that, but I think the... It's it's kind of the uh, you know the tail that wags the dog. No yeah, well, I got I got no problem shitting on anybody, right? Yeah, no, that, I'm just saying, but no, like, no, no, I'm I'm just saying I have no problem with it because I'm well, people are going to go where they think they're going to make the most money, or people are going to go where they're going to get the most attention. Okay, they think. So, I have no idea who, and I'm going to say I guess I'm going to say this because I really don't give a shit. I don't know who. What Ham, what Avid, what any of these other big speakers are getting out of this. They could all say they don't own the stock. They don't get nothing. I, I don't know. Right. Well, really I know some of them have to own. Um, I know that Ham owns several stocks. MMTLP is not one of them. I know that for a fact. No, fair enough. But these but, influencers may not own the stock, but once they get, you know, that they're they're a little smarter than that. They get enough people going, hey, what do you think about XYZ or LMMPQ or whatever? Pick one. And then they start, they front run it. And I, I and they, may get in, they may only get in for a few points, but they know that they've got a voice. They've got a... And, and that's definitely not the case uh, with him. I'm spreading like wild. wild. People will... Their core, but the problem is they're diluting it, but they don't care because they're making money along the way. Whereas a lot of people who are long are sitting there waiting, waiting patiently, and nothing's happening, and it's, there's a frustration growing because the other people really, I mean, they want it to happen, but they're but they're making money on the way there, so they're not as a uh, yeah, but patient about it. No, but see, so let's talk about Ham for example. Well, where's Ham making money along the way? I don't know. It's not my business, I guess. Yeah, but he's not because. Because he's he's been on GTII for over two years. I, I, again, it, he I don't know where he's getting it from. He's got to be doing something. He would have gotten out of it at nine. Like he will not be named. That was definitely a, a scheme. I still ain't running up. Had nothing. Have been a few guys that got squeezed out, little guys. But it's. I think it was all. I don't think anybody saw it coming, and it was totally antici uh, unanticipated, and it was just a pump from some of the local, I want to say local, but the national um, I would influencers. Say, I would say the, the GTI run to nine was he who shall not be named. Yeah, the, you know, the, not, the, not, not for nothing. You know, the, the, the he who shall not be named. 
I I absolutely believe that. Um, and that was that. That was he, he. He killed that. It could have blown from there, but whatever. Um, but like I said, the, the problem I have is I know for a fact Ham doesn't own MMTL. Hey. Right, and that's so. That's so why why does he need to be speaking about it? Why do they need to drag him in there? People want to bring whatever they can attention. Right, you know, here's, but and then, that's what they're doing. Then, they're just trying to bring attention to bring more people to it. It's like, why do we need to talk yeah. to our senator in my state who has nothing to do with the banking and finance committee? Well, you still want to bring attention to everybody, but okay. okay so but, we just answered they, the qu question. We want to bring attention. Yeah, but and he has a, he my. Has a, following my problem is not that he, they're bringing him over there to speak my problem is they're bringing him over there to speak but anytime any other stock is brought up it's no 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 no. no. we're talking about mmtlp okay. that's these these guys are they're in a unique situation i mean they've got that youth i get it and then, i get and, it and they're hurting and you know what just like it's i guarantee you right now if, just like with this group it says come join us but it may be Explicit, don't like it, you know, GTFO. I get it, but you know, if everybody come in here and said, hey, I want to talk about XYZ, you guys are like, all right, guys, let's get back on track. And it's the same thing. Right. They just got, right. They're just and that's, a and that's little fine. bit more. Our stock would be three halted. My, be... My, my thing is very simple. It, it's not, if you want to talk about, I get that completely. I understand where it's coming from. I, I don't say that about your stock. My problem is don't bring in people that are not related to your stock and then turn around and shit on them later. Because at all, a lot of them... That's a fair point. I... A lot of MMT, MMTLP people, I have seen it. And I'm not saying everybody. There's there's good eggs and bad eggs. So I'm not saying everybody. But I have seen him multiple times of he has nothing to do with this. Why are we talking to him? I have seen one person said the day after the rally and GTII people paid for the truck and put slides of the truck, MMTLP and MMAT, and next bridge hydrocarbon put big signs on the truck that well, what the fuck does ham do for us i i remember this i remember this whole thing and you're not going to please everybody this right. is just part of the thing you're just going to have to you, it's part of you have to suck it up which is just like we have red days we're gonna have to learn to deal with them oh the and I, care. I care I, I know what i'm looking at so i really don't care if it's red or green or anything because the <laughs> it means absolutely nothing to me if it's a dollar twenty or a dollar fifty, because I'm for I'm in for the long haul. But, but I, I see Sway came up and wanted to say something, so feel free to yell at me, honey. Hello, GTI, you rocked it being the host, co-host. You blended, <laughs> you blended. You know, you were part of like. It was good. Like, where, it, where is it, Mr. Sway it, from? It, uh, I'm right here, sir. I, I need you to get on and uh, curse. Fuck, uh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> you the web, motherfucker? I don't have a swear job. I'm not like most people. And, and I'm not saying... I have full support for him trying to say that. And I'm not trying to say, you know, my ticker, my ticker, my ticker. Both ways. I, I just appreciate hey. that you co-host, you co-hosted, and and you rocked it. Hey, and Mr. Sway. Uh, Silver Fox, sir. She, no, you're Mr. Sway. I don't <laughs> know what name you go for. But, but, yes, sir. Wifey just said she goes both ways. That could be a fun night for you. It always is. There you go. I love. I love both GTII and MMTLP. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. Um, okay, so we're, we're kind of barging in. We haven't been part of the conversation, but we wanted to check 
check in. Bargain all you want. Oh, we just want to check in and just, um, I don't know. We're having a good time today, even though it's dark mark. It sucks. Is she not what? Was it strip poker? Yeah, we're still trying to find the stripper. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna about to go in. Was it the, was it Twister? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yet. Gonna... There, so... All right, bring one, bring one out for me too. I'll definitely bring you a stripper in Vegas. Yeah, just make sure they know fat, ugly, small penis. Make sure mine is I will Asian. Not tell them that. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'm looking for him. He's he's partial. <laughs> so. Sunday fun day, and I hope you, guys you know what. Good conversation. I, I think we yeah, all needed to. Light. We all needed to just blow off some steam. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I lost my shit yesterday. Yeah. You should have seen the rant that oh, she said. Oh, I, I, that one thing I sent you, that was like one of four texts. Right. Yes. I went off. I, I, I'm telling you, but that's okay. But, but Next time this way, I, if, she, if she mounds off, I got your back. I got duct tape. In. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I got you back. Drunk. I, I got you. Yes, sir. Somebody, it seems like they're the, the, the past hey, couple of times that so we've... Uh, Ran into them in a space. They have ended so up being drunk that. together. I'm happy. Yeah, but if it was strip poker, then well, no, you'd, no, still, was, you'd still be happy that you won. Just it's, my money. No, it's real legitimate, like Nevada poker. Uh, strip poker. If it was strip it, poker, that's tonight. You, you wouldn't be happy if you won. That's tonight. Yeah, I feel sorry for you, Swag. Uh-huh. What? No. Oh, you're going to lose your shirt. <laughs> well, will Mr. Sway dance on the strip of all? I will get up there all day long. All right. Go for it. Liar. Party time, Let's go. Party time at the Sway house. Get, get over here. Okay, so I'll try to sneak some pictures for you guys. There you go. I mean, I can't, you know, it, it may not be the best. We are in Reno, but... um. Sway, he's gonna start wearing a spy camera for yeah. us. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It, it'll have to be in the chat though, okay? But then, so you better look quick. Well, I, for about thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, That's all you get. We'll do thirty seconds. Thirty seconds gives me a chance to, to you know, to pump? Even, even take a nap. <laughs> you, pump? you sure you don't want That's to at least get a little bit of flight. four? Yeah. That, that includes the floor. Like, GG, I, I, oh, does ahead. that include getting dressed and undressed? I'll be asleep. There's no reason to get dressed yet. <laughs> hey, we just want to live up to this ex explicit title. You know, we don't want to let you guys down. I, I Hey, I have faith in when I see you. Yes. I, have I can't wait to meet you, sir. You rock, GG. I, I, not many people get Tony, so... No, I mean, I, no, 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 Tony, no Silver Fox, Mr. Sway. No, it's <laughs> Mr. No. Mr. Sway no, is Mr. Z. Sway. You yourself. I think I know what that, I think that means yes, you duck yes. yourself. Pretty much. <laughs> that, that's, that's when you get the, the name and then you send the FBI over there with a SWAT okay, Go ahead. Team. Bullet. <laughs> uh, oh right, go God. hit the strip club. Right, we'll see you guys later. We're in the parking lot. Mr. Slaying and that dick right, in the face. Oh, having yeah. some fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> helicopter. I, I had to get I had to get I had to get my sway up. This one is health.
Hey, yo, what a do, Slider? Well, <clears throat> I think after the uh, this last week's fiasco, we're going to uh, get a little bit of, uh, what, another day or two of settlement. There's probably going to be a lot of people jumping in the eye that left. I, I so think, I think that what's going to happen is CRTD is going to come down more. Oh, yeah. I think it's got a... It, I, I, I got... I'm just going to sit on what I have. It doesn't matter to me. Um, GTII is going to basically hold, you know, kind of where it's at until something happens. Personally, I tend to think that it's going to be the fall of that Westpac. I don't think it's going to be the news releases. Hmm. <laughs> And it, it could be very, that could be just one of the first ones. Cause I mean, look at overstock. I took like six months and that this may happen overnight or this may take a while. Cause it'd just be the first big domino to drop. Right. Well, this has been two years in the making. No, I, I, I understand that, but no, I'm no, 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 about... no, no. I'm saying there, there have been plenty of catalysts along those two years that should have, you know, blown it out of the water, which is why I think that the Westpac where they have to buy those shares is going to be the the trigger. And, you know, going back to that, you know, not mentioning that other person, that other influencer's name, but part of that action and that whole run-up in uh, the end of September, first week of October, yep. is what caused Alpine, you know, to get caught off guard. On top of it, that's probably what's caused some of these other guys to get deep. And, of course, this Westpac, these guys are getting greedy and... Um, I think hands down. And uh, I think there's a bunch of them that are trying to do this to try to capitalize on this, on what's going on. And yes. It's, uh, and it's now starting, some of it backfired. And it, like you said, it's just a domino. One of them's going to fall. It's just which one goes yep. first. Yep. And once one of them go falls, mm -hmm. see, here's what happens. None of the others have yet to um, – they, they've yet to be – publicly blown out of the water where there's the admission of shorts. Right. We know that they were, but they haven't been publicly admitted to being shorts. MMTLP is going to have to publicly admit it. GTII, if, if Westpac and Alpine go down, they have to publicly admit it. So that those are going to really change things. Now there's no narrative of in naked shorts, which we all know is a load of shit. There are a thing in this naked shorts, and there's a shit ton of them out there. I believe it. Oh, I mean, there's been, I mean, like you said, you've seen the one from uh, I can't remember was it Morgan Stanley? He put the video out showing you know that he did it every day as long as the commissions were coming in. And yet, and yet, the bashers still sit there and say there's no such thing as naked short. And, you know, I don't want to like drift off, but that could be some reverse psychology shit too, where they just get people pissed off. Of course, they're probably long on the stock too, and they're like, "Well, if we just keep this combined, they're going to double, triple down, and they're going to force it to go up a bit." And I mean, these guys are probably happy with two, three percent, five, ten percent swings and get in, get out. I'm sure there are plenty of those. Yes, and I, I don't doubt it. I, but like I said, this and and I don't begrudge them. No, I, I don't either. That's been trading GTII, buying and selling it as on the on the peaks and dips. I have no problem with him doing that. that that's just you know, that's that's what they want to do for their trading strategy, and that's fine. No, yeah, no, absolutely, and it could take off one day. And, and I'm not. Looking, that's what I tell people. You never. I'm know. not looking to make a dollar. Would I have liked to wait two years? No. <laughs> Would the MMTLP mo uh, two months? And who knows when? No. <laughs> no, they want out. I yeah. get it. I absolutely get it. They all want out. They want to be done. Well, and I, I have another problem. With, I do have another problem with the MMTLP people. And 
uh, I'll be straight on it. The MMTLP people say, I'm getting whatever their number is per share. I got two problems with that, actually. One, if you ask too much and other people sell before you, you're not getting any money. Correct. Two, you really were never entitled to money. You were entitled to a next bridge share. Or should you get a lot of money because they fucked up and they had all these shorts? Absolutely. Was that your play? Absolutely. But in reality, you're only entitled to a next bridge hydrocarbon share. So you wouldn't have money in your pocket right now. And the argument is, is you know, GTII, I could sell it. Okay, your next bridge hydrocarbon on the 8th. You went into a play, your risk, you're still ahead of the game because your risk is an next bridge hydrocarbon share. I think that's a good fucking deal. But I do believe that they're entitled to big money. But they're really not. They're really entitled to an next bridge hydrocarbon share. There's a need to be, to be settled up. Without a doubt. It's really bad uh, the U.S. trading market, so... Without a doubt. And, and and the sad thing is, this is going to have huge ripple effects. Because all of... The, I can't say all, but let, let's say a, a good percentage of the people that are in these plays, short-term plays, or for squeeze plays, or whatever you want to call it, have lost complete faith in the market. They are going to end up paying billions upon trillions upon quadrillions of dollars to settle all they're not giving up on. And, and there's no to be putting that money back into the market until they fix it. That's, that's absolutely true. And I, think, I think there's a huge that. Well, like I like that last discussion, the last call we were all on when I told you about putting something together for retail only. Yep, yep, and I already, I already spread that to. You know, when I I've been go back and forth, and I always tell us that uh that Roy F R O I F. It's you know retail only investor fund. Yep. And yep. The second, people start pulling their money from all these like run. You get their interest. You get everybody listening and, and going. We better make this fair. And the, you know, you know all. the other sad part is there's going to still be a lot of that are hurt because these funds are going to have to liquidate what they have long, which is going to be big board stocks. Mm -hmm. So they're going to tank. So unfortunately, people are going to have huge paper losses, regular retail people. Well, I think once those losses get big enough that they start including the politicians and the regulators, it's going to bring a different attention to all of this. Not only that, we still got, I mean, we have the... And, and, those, and those stocks will recover very well once things get straightened out. Because now all, if everything gets straightened out, let I'm jumping the gun. We're going to make the assumption that every one of these stocks, you know, runs and we're all walking away with millions of dollars, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let me fit in there. All, all that money is going to go back into the market. So the, those stocks will recover. But it'll be retail, however, not hedge fund money. Correct. But like you said, for eight, someone else has got to lose a dollar. Yes. And you're hoping that that only comes from a hedge fund, but and it won't. playing with other people's money. Correct. So it's kind of like naughty by nature instead of OPP, it's OPM. Yes. 
but the ultimate end is these hedge funds will end up going out of business. I mean, not all of them, obviously. And it's not like we're going to bring down these huge broker league. Um, but it'll have enough of an impact that the money is going to be in retail hands instead of hedge fund hands, and the system is going to have to change. And because if the system changes, well, then if Tesla's worth $100 shorted down, then it's worth $200 if the shorts aren't playing anymore. Mm-hmm. So, so that money will over time by those other retail investors that unfortunately lose. But ultimately, they'll gain. Well, I think the other thing that we you guys are, I think you guys are thinking, I don't want to say you guys, I think everybody, but I think one thing people really need to really kind of just open their mind to is it's one screwed in our own system, but you got to remember there's foreign money in here and there's other governments that have their people's money in here and their politicians have money in the, in the U.S. equities market. Without a doubt. And when that starts happening and you get foreign countries and they're, regardless of how big or how small they are, that's going to send a little bit of a, a shockwave in here too when they start getting burned. Oh, without Which a doubt. Problem. Without a doubt. And, and you don't think <clears throat> that if they start losing money, that you know, the Secretary of State is not going to be flying out to Washington, D.C.? Um. But this all goes back to this market, this whole equities market. It should just be, I, this is my opinion. I don't think there should be puts. I don't think there should be shorts. It's either you're long, you're either in or you're out. And if you want to go gamble, you think something's going up or down, you know, take that shit to Vegas. That's my opinion. I just, I don't see, this is coming as a CEO of my own company. I don't understand. How it's it's become a casino. I mean, it's 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 become gaming. There's risks and in investment, but you put your money somewhere you want it to grow. I don't want to put my money in and worry and think, well, is this business going somewhere? Okay, wait a minute. Now I got to worry about some other guy with a hundred million dollars just wants to come in and take my money because we put our money in here to make it go up and to hopefully have this company grow. And these people are like, hey, I don't give a shit what they're doing. We're just gonna we're gonna manipulate a hundred million well, in uh, share and shorting it, and we'll just take. It needs to go back to what the mark was intend- initially intended for. It was a means of people to put money into small companies or, or semi-large companies, but small companies to let them grow because you had faith in pay. That was mm-hmm. the whole intention. And then that you would get a return on your money, whether... Right. Something to look forward to as a as it, but you know when I I read the the uh, virtues and the uh, Susquehanna and Citadel, you know you get two hundred something billion of sold, uh, yeah, purchased yet. I mean, if you could just think about what two hundred billion dollars would do right now to the market, yep. If they had to go in and buy up those securities right now and not be allowed to carry them the way they're carrying them, and uh, that's two hundred billion. billion is, that two hundred billion is two hundred quadrillion. Oh, it's it's huge because just I mean. Because it's not like it's price that cause volatility. Yeah. yeah. And it's disgusting. You know, you get guys that are bragging about X dollars per year in profit, and yet they're carrying, you know, like, a right, you have profit it. because you bought, you, you sold all the stock and got paid money, and you Absolutely. never bought it back. And that is still to this day, do not understand that. <laughs> right. I mean, I would like. But it does. It needs. It needs to, to get to back for, more. We have. Towards, it needs to get back more towards what the intention of the market was, and the intention of the market was you invested in a company so that you had a piece of a company that you thought would do, do well. You could be right or wrong. I mean, obviously, but that was the intention of the market. Yeah, no, that's what it should be. I still, to this day, I, the stock market was a way just to get people in touch with the companies that they didn't know about and a place for them to make the transaction. Right. But it's got 
gotten, I think it's gotten out of control though. Being put, I mean, you're you basically everybody's. I'm betting that by this day it's going up or this day it's going down. I know people make money. Out. I see you take that shit to Vegas, take it to your local casino, whatever you are as the equity market and these businesses. And, and I don't I think, think you should be messed with that way. And, and I think the idea is, I mean, I hate to bring up Tesla just because it's an easy one. Um, and my statements aren't going to change jack shit about what happens with Tesla. Um, but someone that got in and said, you know what? This guy's going to be making these 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 electric vehicles, and that's going to help the environment, and they're going to be nice vehicles, and I think people are going to want them. And he can't make them yet because he needs money to make them. So I'm going to give us, I'm going to get money out of it in the end because because I think this company is going to do well. That's the purpose. Absolutely. And these huge bonuses for CEOs when the company loses billions, what the fuck is that? It's just one of the downsides to uh, free capital or uh, free markets and the capitalistic society. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. It, it nothing but that can't control yeah. where your money goes. It, it, if CEOs listen, right now started pulling that shit and like what was going on and pulled their money, that we'd have their attention because we're taking their money. Right. The, the second your money sits there because it's controlled by somebody else. Was and and what's going to happen, hopefully, um, and it's going to hurt for a little bit to other retail investors um but hopefully what will happen is there's going to be again let me say tesla there's going to be a huge drop in in share price and elon musk is going to turn around and be like oh fuck i just lost billions of dollars on paper i can't have this what caused this oh no we can't do this we can't keep going like this and then that's going to influence the change. Yeah, that's... Yeah, exactly. I, I want to say this, but you don't know, want to say, say something. Go ahead. Slider, did you want to say something? You could bash me and Doctor. No. Anybody else want to bash me and doctor? I don't mind being bashed. Nope. Instead of people wanting person. You know, they got a, and the other thing too is education. We don't teach this stuff in school. I remember when I went through uh, elementary and junior high and high school. You know, we learned about. The market we learned about system we learned about checkbooks we learned about filling right. out applications and resumes and i see my my youngest is already is and and i'll give you the bigger one growing up and they don't teach them this stuff i'll give you a bigger one we were taught to think i think not ourselves. not regurgitate now it's question the system memorize, memorize the book and regurgitate it Yes, and question the system and question the people in in control and in power and government. Question them and not be afraid to. Yeah. That, no. no. It's a shame. No. And I tell you, the, the biggest irony here, too, is, I mean, I'm a naturalized citizen, and I look at this and like, man, these people just only knew what you have here. Right. It's if he only knew how fragile it is, it's it, the irony in it. Yeah. Hey, MES, you got anything to say? Uh, I'll give you a mic. I know you don't mind speaking. No. You could just hit request. 
<laughs> I, I mean, me, me and doctor are scaring people off. We even, we even scared Lion off and yelled at him to mute himself. Yeah, he sure did. I'm um, sure he'll be back. No, he's he's also busy on his his YouTube space, which yeah, I don't understand because I don't know why they don't just come over to the Twitter space. But and, and he's sitting oh, there and he's just like Deef? Deef? giving everybody that walks in a mod. Can, can you hear me? <laughs> Y'all can you hear me or not? Tell you this, uh, we just the more people going on, keep the word out. You know what's going on? These catalysts that are coming up, and hopefully something pops. But can you hear me or not? I agree. They brought yeah. the FBI in here, and when they by bringing the FBI, I think they just helped testing, uh, accelerate. Testing, what's going exactly, on. and I think that's what's going to be, in uh, my opinion, I think, I think they, the the <laughs> That's weird. Probably the first thing. Yes, it'll get. Uh, it'll it'll. It's going to make something happen. Hey Matt, because even if our two million shares, Matt, but it's forced. It, Holy right, shit, Matt, million shares of strict buying, uh, yeah. and that's going to get some fear going into the other short positions because we do have a bunch of small, small short positions. It's not like there, there's three hundred million that one person's holding. So the the hope is, you know, the share short oh. is going to trigger this one that has fifty thousand share short. Is going to trigger this one that has five hundred thousand shares short, etc. Careful here too, because you know the the uh, posted short interest and in position is what four hundred something thousand shares right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, it's 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 a joke. But the other thing you got to be careful, and I and I and I look at this, which the FBI just gave us here. That that's not right. Oh, I know it's not right. It's way the, off. The FBI just said. That there's that that short position at Westpac. Absolutely. So so we know that that four hundred thousand is not right. But if if that short position is even at four dollars a share, if a million two million shares get bought in straight buying at whatever price it is, you would think that that four hundred thousand is going to fall and say, I'm going to grab as much money as I can now or take as little loss as I can now. Or ride out the storm. Uh, that, that would be the stupidest move in the world. Well, I understand, but if you look at what it's costing them in interest daily to hold versus it's going to cost to buy out, they may, I mean, you got you to look at this. The other thing you could be looking at too is, you know, these guys are coordinated. Yes. It's something. Yes. It's not. This isn't like they're, they're they're talking just like we're talking, but well, they're, they're talking no. on a different level. But it's the stock is not going to go to. And again, I'm making up numbers just to make things easy. It's not going to go from two dollars to a thousand dollars to two dollars in it. Oh, but I guarantee you, won't it, stay anywhere near. I bet you. With this run and everybody's when people start grabbing and pull, let's just hypothetically say it's a hundred dollars. I'm just throwing a number out there. Right, it goes to 180. Is that going to hold that 50? I guarantee this thing will be back around 10 or below, and it's only going to be the few longs that are really going to stay. I, I, so for a short, what, for a what, short what, who's what in me, this, he may say, I got to wait this out for three months. Let me let me so go back down that because number one, I think that, um. I could speak for me, and, and I could speak for others that have said the same thing to me. Um, I will sell and take my money, without a doubt. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes back down, I'm going to buy and just put it to the side and leave it. Absolutely. Uh, and I think there'll be plenty of people that will do that as well. I'm not. I'm not financial $20 advice. Twenty dollars is ten million. I can. This is not disappear. financial but advice. I would like to stick around based on just based on what <laughs> their right. decision is with their money. If you walk, right, if you so walk just around just and you get a thousand dollars a share and you have you know ten million dollars in the bank after taxes, and it comes back down to ten dollars, you wouldn't 
throw, you know, 50 grand at it and just throw it to the side because the company made you shit ton of money? Oh, I would go, definitely, I'd go back long, but I would have to wait and see. That's what I just said. It would have to, I would be gone, I'd be out, and then I would see where the where all the dust settles right. on these catalysts, which I think they have some very strong ones that got some long-term. Right. Um, and even I would if definitely they don't, go back in. Absolutely. And, and even if they don't have long-term, I'm willing to, if I make $10 million, I'm willing to lose 50 grand. Just to say, hey, thank you. Oh, yeah, but I think the other place that it also would help out, too, because then they would also have, I mean, if any of these catalysts come in, they've got income, they've got cash flow. I right. want to get the next strong right. Right. the next shorts. And that's what I mean. I would have fun doing that from my office at home. But, but I just think that um, those 400000 are not going to be able to ride it out. Because you you know that the second that that stock goes from say, their their broker is going to be calling in saying, "Give me my fucking money. I'm not letting you float ninety eight dollars a share and throw it in my pocket." You know, and that's it's it's a good point, but it's I mean, look where we're at right now. We just got to figure out what's what's going to happen and how it's all going to go down. And until everybody gets right. on board again, it's, it's going to be, you know, we're going to have to wait for something to, to cause a spark. And, and I've sat here, coming back. I've gone from, from $2 to 50 cents to $2 to 50 cents. I don't give it going nowhere until, until it blows up. Well, I can tell you this with my group here, just in, in Arizona, there's, we, we, we're sitting on over a million shares and I'm more than 50% holder. Uh, personally, of all those million shares, and the other guys, you know, they're all, and none of them are going anywhere. And I've I've made friends with other people right. around the country, and, and there are ten, twelve of them. And right, I, so I know, way I know for a fact that between, let's say, twelve shareholders, it's already double the float. Well, and that's the other thing that we have. To Ask this question. I've been talking with some other guys. Some of the other uh, is what is the actual public float? Is it thirty eight million? Is it fifty seven million? Is it seventy? Million? Well, I had to get nailed down. Shares, but I right. Comes in. I know what those? Yeah. After last round of warrants, I think we're somewhere around fifty seven float. They have two hundred fifty seven, right. two hundred fifty six million total. But those are all restricted. As Correct, insider. exactly. So you know you can't go by this. There's 250 because it really isn't 250. No, but that's how they're basing their market cap. But we've got to talk about the free flow, right. which is what we're, which are actually tradable. And if there is just say 50, like I, I can just tell you right now. Just I mean, we're we're, we're a one fifth. <laughs> holder of this company and we're, I know this thing's well, way oversold. I know, like I said, I know people that I, I'm I'm be, let me not to um make myself look bigger because I'm a fucking piker. Um but um I know for a fact that there are 12 people from credible sources, and I don't know if it's 12 people, 11 people, 13 people, but you get my point. Mm -hmm. That will double the float. Wow. And, and I don't think it's, it's all being blown up my ass. The, the source I got, if I trust the sources I'm, it's coming from. And, and then, you know, you add up all the little fucking pikers. And, and you add up the, you know, investors like your group that have a million shares. You think you're the only group that owns a million shares? Oh, no, I don't think so at all, no. I just meant my point was, but we got yeah, 10 people here. Right. I'm just saying that's my point is that there's 10. And, uh, exactly. And I'm, thinking, I, I'm just a, a 
a spot on a pimple that's on the pimple of someone else's ass. <laughs> So right, small. right. In position there that I know that this thing is spread. This this thing, the numbers are way off. Exactly. That's exactly it. So you know, I I think that we don't have a question. We know. Um, it's just a matter of forcing that. Hey, Sway, what the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the strip club. Sway, why are you here not in the strip club? Sway doesn't want to come to the mic. Because I want to really strip for you. Strip for you. Strip for you. Oh, well. Really want to Does anybody else you. want to jump up to a mic? Strip for you. Come on. Opposing opinions, additional comments. Oh, I got a request. Let's see who's requesting. Oh, it's Sway. Is it Sway or Mr. Sway? Hey. Come on, get your mic on. Is it Sway or Mr. Sway? Yeah, why, why are you talking about this? Supposed to be in the strip club. Uh, I, I said, why do you want to talk to us? I don't see. I don't see any strippers. Yeah, I know it. Do you see? See the bartender. Uh, I, I don't see nobody. Does, does the bartender got some big tattoos in there? Can you go to one of the strippers and ask them if like to talk to the group? Yeah, but can you ask if they'd like to talk to the group? Do what? The, does does the bartender the like Spanish like men? Uh, I know, we can't hear her, but picture in the chat, but there's like legitimately not very many strippers here, but they won't let us take pictures anyway, so. Yeah, you're not allowed to take Club. Unless you had a pro, uh, no, a GoPro. I, I mean, really? They don't really take pictures in a strip club? <laughs> that, that's interesting. They don't, they don't really take pictures in a strip club? I never Do that. Uh, uh, see, I... Man, this is, uh, I don't know about that's you guys, but all like, the time, yeah, this that's, uh, blue that's horrible. I don't know. I really don't know how to mess with this and uh, fix the the lag on it, the connection. I mean, if Twitter yeah, or Elon like, would actually do something about it muted? and actually make it possible for Twitter to be uh, desktop, de desktop friendly no. so that people can actually connect into spaces and talk through their desktop microphones instead of doing it all on mobile phones. It's hey, just so fucking annoying. Um, hello. It, is. It, it really is what it is because, you know, at the end of the day, it's like... You just got to deal with what you got to have. You know what I'm saying? And like, fuck Lion. it. Lion. Lion. Can I can hear you. Lion. I can hear you, but can you hear me? Oh, my God. Can anybody hear anybody? Hey. They cannot hear me. That's weird. Lion.
See, I, apparently you guys can hear me, but I can't hear you. All right, Lion, can you make sure that you're you're on the spaces? I'm going to jump out and jump back in and see if I can hear you guys. Uh, I'm confirming with him on, on his live stream. It's Lion's mic that's messing up, but I can't hear anybody. the mic off oh okay i couldn't hear anybody no my mic is off my wife. oh drilling me. you were in trouble with your wife i got it no i'm back no i'm listening still uh, all right i do i it went quiet and, and and i just i don't know you guys everybody was cutting out <laughs> yeah i don't know i think I think it's Lion's fault. Let's all blame Lion. But yeah, I didn't ask him where you guys all out of. I'm originally in New York, but in Colorado now. Lion is in New York. Um, let me ask, where are you from? Type it in inside live stream into the yeah the live stream, and I'll tell them. And anybody else that just came in, if you'd like to get a mic, just ask for it. Okay, well, I got one person in and they just left. I'm originally from Malaga, Spain, but I'm in uh, Phoenix, Arizona right now. Many years. Arizona. I I'm from New York. I arrive in New York City. Arizona is the worst place to fucking drive. Uh, I don't know about that. I've with you on that one. We do got some shitty drivers. It's not like San Francisco where and, somebody took a bowl of spaghetti and he threw it on the table. Look like that. And MES is in Florida. Um, but I was down in Arizona and 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 I was fucking scared to drive. And I could weave in and out of traffic in the middle of New York City. The, the, <laughs> this fuck is crazy. Too, because we get a we get a huge influx. I can make it a little scary. I mean, there, we got some cities here like Yuma. In the winter and spring, their population just on winter visitors. Right. So, but no, there is. We do. We the, the other the. Other, thing that most people don't understand and that's the first thing that I do Arizona we don't we get a little bit of weather but it's not you guys shut down for weeks or months and snow and right where we can we can just do this all I used to just and when we do we get snow or we get rain or we get any kind of weather there's a lot of accidents here just yeah, no, I was, down, I was down. I didn't even rain, and these fuckers don't know how to drive. So, uh, I'm including those fuckers. Oh no, I I'll tell you this. I mean, it's I I uh I I do uh, demolition. Yeah. Fourteen foot wide, and we're 130 feet long, and people don't give a shit. And fifty thousand pounds and. People don't care. They just zip in and out. It's horrible. It's uh, it's just one of the things about Phoenix, but it makes up for it in our with our weather and and, and many of the other things. Right. But it's uh, I don't know. I was just curious where everybody's out of and. There, from all over the place, but I know we just there, only got a small there, group of here. There's a big chunk in New York. There's a big chunk in California. Chunk in Florida. I, I that I know, but obviously you know there's people from everywhere. Oh, yeah. Well, one of the groups I was telling you about that I, like I said, made friends with. 
they're from the mid uh, Midwest, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Nebraska. Oh, look, Mr. Fox. Yeah, I'm listening. Sorry, no, uh, I'm no, kind of no, talking no, to myself. No. But go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. The, oh, the no. group. The Midwest, and they're big. Uh, they're they're seven figure holders also. So this thing is huge. It's massive. Yeah. Where in the Midwest are they? No, uh, Arkansas oh. and Oklahoma. Okay. Okay. I've been friends. Yeah, so, they all went to school together, and they just moved apart. But they all stayed together as right. friends and no, investing. I, and Toronto, so I'm like right, you know, in a square with them. All right, guys, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, like I'm, gonna, said, I'm having just, difficult difficulties with this blue stack piece of shit. Uh, app and um, actually trying group. to talk sure through it through the spaces. Yes. So I, I know. Yeah. So I'm just gonna like. Well, let me rephrase end that. End this stream. And then um, I'm gonna restart the space. Investors from overseas. And I'm gonna restart the spaces on my phone and talk through there. So well, just, I don't just uh, I, send a I, message I, to them and let so them know that I'm gonna make a, there, new, there, a new space. There's, there's Anyways, big I'm out groups. This, you know, floating around. Yeah, peace out. <laughs> Uh, hey, not to 